Hi everybody, this is uh, Isological of, from isologic.com and today I've got a video demoing kind of a final version of a plain thing that I'm building, a final version of a preliminary version, but that's beside the point. So my setup here is an Arduino Nano connected to a 16 channel analog multiplexer and a shift register. And the reason we're doing that is because this is the controller, as you might not be able to tell, and um, it's eventually going to have quite a few more inputs and outputs to get statuses from the computer, get statuses from the plane, and um, so I just wanted to lay the ground that groundwork for that early. And you can see a joystick and a potentiometer. The potentiometer would control the speed, joystick would control orientation, and this button is for debug, which I'll show you in a sec. So, and on, over here, which is the... Um, the output simulator for the plane, I've got two servos, a brushless motor hooked up to an electronic speed controller, and a board which all the wiring is done on the board. I've got the same shift register. I'll document this more in a blog post. But um, And connected to an Arduino Mega. I don't intend on using the Mega for the actual, like, when it's done. Um, just because I think it's kind of frivolous. I'm probably going to end up using something small like the... Uh, Nano. I like I like going small and then expanding on the small like I did here with the multiplexer and the shift register, but Mega was all I had lying around at the time. And I've got a nine volt power supply to give a little more amp to the or a little more power to the motors so it doesn't have um any writing issues, but that's beside the point. Oh yeah, and I've got uh slide uh a um logarithmic slide potentiometer or nonlinear, I don't know what exactly what scale it is. And I've got a linear potentiometer and a photo cell, all connected to analog inputs on the uh, mega. And oh yeah, there's this debug LED, which is serves the same purpose as this one, but I'll show you that in a sec. And on the computer, which you should be looking at, which should be at the side, I'm going to run the program. So basically this is a program that I've been working on for quite some time now. And um, so let's get it going. So I have a little serial interface to so connect with the Arduino open this up and now I'm gonna start the handshake with the controller and so the computer sends a bit which tells the Arduino that it's looking for data from the controller so the Arduino then sends it back so it's like a package interface which I've been calling a handshake which I'm pretty sure is what everyone calls it but essentially it's a handshake so I'm gonna start that up and you should see the transmit and receive lights on the Arduino light up there you go not really in focus Kind of hard to focus at this close, but this is an amazing camera on this phone. But so here you go, get that in frame. And um, so a little counter is for de debug purposes. That's how many cycles the controller has read and received data, or read and sent data. So I'll show you it working there. Move this up, and the y-axis goes up, the x-axis goes up and down. If I increase and decrease that. And then the speed potentiometer, like that. So, the, um, oh yeah, I can slow down using this. I can slow down the sample rate. Let me focus this first. I can change the sample rate of how many times it gets it. So I'll slow it down. As you can see, it's almost nothing now. This, cre this makes it a lot more stable. This is also, again, for debug purposes, but I'm leaving it in as a feature because it makes it a lot more stable in, a lo in the long run, which makes sense. But for our purposes, and hopefully in the end game, I'll have it, to, I'll have it max frequency all the time. So now let's start up the handshake with the um, plane simulator thing. Focus up on those LEDs. And there we go. We're lighting up. So... Now I'll come back here and move it there, move it there. You can see on the program output that I'm moving where I'm moving the joystick, but I'll show you anyways. So move that down, up. You can see the tracking speed is really nice. It can really precisely control these, which is going to be essential when it's flying. But as you probably noticed, the big old motor didn't spin up because it's very loud and I have other people in the house and I don't want to... I had to make this video at night, as you can see, and I don't want to wake everyone up, so it's not on, but it works, trust me. You can see it in the uh, previous video, it working. But what's really cool here is the um, the uh, the fact that I can change sensor values here, 
and have him move over there, which is kind of the, this is pretty sophisticated, cause, because there's just a lot, a lot of data manipulation, a lot of transmitting and receiving of data going on here, and you can see if I cover this little photo cell, my finger, that data, that value goes up, then I'll twist this third one, it's kind of hard to do, hard to see, ah, whatever, crap, but, yeah, you can see the three values moving like that. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, check the link, the, the link in the description for a blog post, and um, catch you later, I guess.